Hi, this is going to be a really short little version of the maple leaf. I'm just going to show you how to go through the new strokes today that we did in the class. And that's about as far as we got. We didn't get the branches on or anything. So I'm going to switch cameras and I'm going to show you how to start. Okay, so from your handout, instead of starting at the top and then working our way down, this time we're going to start in the middle and go to the left, then the right, left and right. So you load your brush the same as last week, go into your white, your yellow, your orange, your dark orange, and sienna. Uh, if you want to little, put a little green at the tip end of your brush, you can do that as well. And I'm using a fox hair brush and I'm using a medium size. I don't want to use a small little brush. So the first thing that you do for stroke number one, the direction straight up. So when you pull up, Kind of open up your brush a little bit to make your, your stroke wider at the top. So that's stroke number one. So you're going to do that all the way across your paper. Just to practice this stroke all the way up. And I'm not going to do them across, but I want you to. And now the next stroke is going to be over on the left-hand side. So I'm going to do number one again. And then add number two, and it's going to be up at an angle. And turn in the brush a little bit sideways, and it pulls down into that uh, first stroke. So it comes up to number one, back and forth to make it wide at the top. And then number two pulls into it. Okay. So number three is going to go across on the other side because these leaves are pointy. And I went out today and I picked some of the leaves on a little maple. So they're pointy. I don't want you to leave that space in between like this. Here's a sugar maple, just to give you the difference in the size of the leaves. And the maple leaves always will have the five little lobes. So this one starts over on the left or the right hand side, lines up even with your stroke and it pushes down. Okay. So one, two, and three. And you can see that when I've given you the handout, number three goes that direction. So follow the arrows. Now number four gets a little tricky. It comes up and then down. So number four, let me go one, two, and three again. So practice all the way across there. Number one is back up, make it wide. Number two at an angle, pull it in. Number three on this side, push it down, make a point. Number four comes up and then down. Okay. So I'll do that again. And you can do them all the way across again. Just practice each stroke individually. One, stroke number two, pulls in. Number two, pushes, or three, pushes out. Number four, pulls in. Number five comes over here at the top of this stroke and it lines up and it goes out to the side. Okay, these two are foreshortened, they're turned under. So I'll do it again for you. And this is a simple little maple leaf, and this is just one view. You can turn in all different directions. One in the middle, push back and forth. Two, point your brush at an angle. You want that to be shorter than this one. You don't want it to be down. Comes up and then it pulls into number one. Number two or three starts over here at the side. Line your brush up and push it down. So come, you've got your points. Number four, pull up, push down. Number five, come over here on this side come up and into the side there. So it's real important to keep this V right here. Okay, so that's how you do the lead. Practice it step by step by step. And then for the center, you're gonna go into a darker color. Uh, you can go into a sienna plus a little bit of black if you'd like. 
you don't want it to be too dark. Now this is wet, so you got to remember when you go wet into wet, it's going to run. So you might want to dry your brush a little bit. So you're going to put your center right there, big blob, and then it's going to pull down, out. Everything pulls from this one area and then across. Then if you want to fancy up the edges here, you can go into red. You can just lay that down. Give him a little help if he needs it. And that basically is your leaf. And that's as far as we got today. And then if you want to practice your handouts, if you want to practice grouping them a little bit, you can do that. We'll group more next week or week after next week is Thanksgiving. And then the branches will go into the branches. So use your handout. Um, I gave, sent everyone a finished one. So if you want to make you one group here, second group, then as we learn how to do the branches, you can put the branches in. But we're going to do the, flat, the leaves first. Branches are going to be second. So that's your practice session for today. And enjoy it and have a great Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.